You're watching clips, the best moments from our live streams every Monday and Friday. Don't miss out. Watch it. So um, we had a great letter and we're getting these great letters in regards to one video in particular that is titled Not Latina Enough, where it's the phenomenon of being uh, kind of like that example we just use of the tall boy thing. Uh, yet maybe we don't know perfect Spanish or fluent Spanish, where Jenna Ortega brought that up a few weeks ago and Yanni Taylor-Joy had her back and there was this whole great kind of discussion in regards to that. And we keep getting these really great letters from, uh, from viewers like you guys. And I wanted to read this one letter, uh, if I could do that, and we can uh, take it from there. Now, this comes from Christy Cumplido. It's under the Carrie's a bit of shame, Latina identity. And she says, in Miami, nobody ever had a ruler taken from them for speaking Spanish. Clearly. <laughs> right. That's in regards to me, my experience when I was growing up in the L.A. school district, how I would get uh, swatted with a uh, ruler for speaking Spanish in elementary. I was raised with piñates, noche, buene, noche buena, con, con lechon, etc. But unlike my peers, I wasn't raised speaking Spanish as my Mexican Cuban immigrant mother wanted to be a school teacher. I was raised only speaking English to help better perfect her own. My father spoke Spanish, spoke in Spanish, and I answered back in English. So my super brown mom, I love that. Super brown mom. That's like a that's like a new superhero. Super brown mom. Call, call when you need uh, they exist every day. So my super brown mom can speak. Perfect English without even a Gloria Stefan accent. Yet, ironically, it's my super white, blonde, green-eyed Cuban dad who worked as an artist that didn't speak a wink of English. His family came from the Canary Islands, Galicia, Spain. He understood enough to understand me and American TV, but never had to speak it. Now, at 41, my Spanish is better and I can relate to Jenna, Jenna Ortega. In Miami, you're called a Cubana arrepentida if you don't speak perfect Spanish, which I find ironic when I can get that from Cubans whose who Spanish has that super thick Cuban accent. Case in point, I didn't know gracias had an S at the end until I was an adult. <laughs> uh, we got to make fun of our, 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 our Latinos uh, in their accents, the, the way they cut off uh, Spanish sometimes. I'll end it with this, your point how you can't base someone's heritage on their appearance. It's true. I close my uh, my close friend from Chile was raised there, and my mother is pure, and, and her mother is pure Chilean, and father is American. She looks like an Eastern European model, natural long blonde hair, not flat, but a perky little butt, tall and flaca with no hips and full lips, gorgeous. And her Spanish puts everyone to shame. Argentina had a lot of German mag migration after World War II, by the way. Props to Anya Taylor-Joy for being proud of her heritage, but not ignoring the obvious privilege she gets for not looking like the stereotype. Unlike Christina Aguilera, who tried to appropriate her name with a Spanish album when she has not a connection to her Latin side nor the language. Taylor-Joy has nothing to prove. Sorry, longer post than I intended. So glad your channel popped up to my feed. Race is a construct. It's the soil that feeds our roots. Wow. Uh, you know. It's it's funny that Robert Meyer Burnett is here as our guest because he inspired me to to do these letters. And when I watch him uh, read his letters to to his uh, you know his audience that are so based in and knowledgeable in in all the different types of genre of film and books and television, uh, I feel we have that that same connection here when in regards to our Latinidad and uh, the great arts of work, the great things that we uh, contribute to society. So, uh, you know, Christy, I really thank you for this letter. It's amazing. And I know you said you're going to be checking it out, whether you're here with us live or not. But uh, it's important for people that, uh, you know, just maybe grew up looking a little strange, a little different, or maybe they looked like they weren't Latinos to uh, find their place in the world. There's tons of room for everyone uh in this place so so yeah great letter great letter thank you so much